We are back here at the fantastic Rookery Waters for another live match. Drawn 27 on Jay today. Uh, apologies, it's been a bit of a while since we've done one, but uh, you know, life gets in the way. We've changed jobs since our last match on Crow, and uh, sh should be in for a good day today. Got a dead simple plan today, and uh, hopefully we catch a few people. Like for today we've pretty much got what's it, four lines I'm gonna fish I'm gonna fish across in the mud so we'll talk about that quickly we'll find the right rig which is about 13 inch so it's pretty much perfect I've got 2.4 float uh, 019 to 013 Little three inch hook length with a bulk on. I'm gonna fish our pellets over there, so I've got a little bait band. 14 elastic. Nice, you know, standard mud line rig. And across to this, there's a bush over here hanging in the water, so I'm gonna fish cast a shallow over there. I've got two rigs for that. Uh, two different depths. It's basically carbon dibber. That one's set at uh, 12 inch and just a staggered bulk. And then the other one's got bulk straight down, it's a bit shallower, shorter line, that's just got a little tiny bulk, then I'm going to fish down the middle, I'm going to fish hard bellies down the middle, because uh, last time I was on this lake I fished meat and it weren't right and they just kept knocking it about and stuff like that, that's pretty much three and a half foot down the middle, we've got DT carbon slim with a power eye, that's never breaking, very good float, two mil tip, back shot, we've got uh, 017 to a little four inch hook length with a band obviously and then that's just got a tapered a tapered bulk just so you get a nice slow fall and uh, yeah it's about three and a half foot I'm just going to tap a few hard pellets in there then angry rig we've got an angry rig for down this little wedge here I'm just going to fish the top kit down there fish castles and worms down there and again we've got a point bore I'll show that to you a bit better. The 0.4 carbon slim. Uh, angry red 18 elastic. Got 019 to 015. Two back shot. I've just got a bulk and a dropper and a little four inch hook limp. And uh, hopefully we'll catch some big ones there towards the end of the match. <laughs> Macro. Bait wise, just got some six mil scrittings, tap it down the middle. Lots of, lots and lots of casters fishing across shallot. Uh, got some commercial carp ground bait. I'll just mix that. I've got some micros down here as well, soaking up. So probably 50 50 with micros. And got some worms for the for down here. Hopefully, slaying some big ones later on. So I've just got some hard pellets for the hook as well. And that is it, that'll do me. Dead simple as always, because uh, I'm too thick to do anything complicated. So uh, simple is best.
uh, on the fish I've reared to start off with, see if there's any fish about. Then I'm going to fish casters to this bush to me right. Can often be slow to start off with and then it gets better and better. Little baby chicks. One over there already, can you see by the tree? What, why were you tapping the water? Uh, to attract some fishies. Is it to imitate the pellet? Yeah, to uh, any sort of noise basically. Can we see the fishy? There was a fishy. Scared him. Angry fishy. Number one. Little bubble one. This is a uh, started a lot quicker than I thought it would. And get them lined up on this it can be really good. See why they like them, they make such a good noise. Are you targeting fish that you can see? Uh, a bit of both. So, ideal situation is you have an area of feed, and then if you see some around it, then you can have a slap in front of them as well. So like if you see a ghost eel, like a carp swimming past, you can have a, a slap at it and see if it will have it. So you kind of like fishing shallow and mugging at the same time. Best of both worlds. But normally you have to build this up a bit before you see them swirl or anything.
very good early signs and I'm gonna do this for a few hours. Be good. Keep that bait going in. What do you reckon? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lovely. Well, normally I'd have a bigger landing net set up. I don't know why I put this one on. What's that? 14 pound we've got. And we're 20 minutes in. Very nice. I'll catch 20 pound every half an hour. Something beat them, what was it? My stopwatch. Hmm. I know what the time is roughly. I oh, know it's, we've had half an hour about even looking. Not 20 pound after half an hour. So I catch 20 pound every half an hour, what will I end up with? 40 pound an hour. Four times six. 180 pound. Six fours of 24. 240 mate, if you can get that right. Right. You're right where you are, mate. Enjoy me day if it carries on like this, mate. Ow. 
wonder how many hooks I've had in my fingers in my life. Sun's gone in. Sun's gone in. Cold now. float. Right, so far, so good. Got 22 pound plus this. We're about half an hour in. Just fishing cast is shallow, not, not towards the tree. <laughs> sort of three quarters of the way across. A nice fantail thing. Different, isn't it? But, uh, they are a bit spooky. I think it says 23. <laughs> Just gonna try me other rig. It's got a bit of a longer line on it. Little fishies. Yep. Quack, quack. Oh. See that come up then? Yeah. Ooh. 
Is that another double? Yeah. Like eight bales. Anyway, look. Oh no, he's not happy. something different. We've caught one a chuck on cast a shallow, but we're not really learning anything for next week's festival. Let's we'll see if we can catch a load down the edge. Uh, everyone seems to be catching fish. I've got probably 125 pound and uh, either side have got 100 pound. So um, really to do any good we need to start catching some bigger fish, like the fish I've been catching on shallow have been like two, three pounders. Need to be catching bigger fish, even if they're like five pound down here rather than three pound. That'll do. So we'll give this a go. That's a good sign. So that didn't take long at all after we've gone there. So we're probably gonna stay down here. There's no missing a bite when you're down the edge. It's either there or in. Missed Pulling in. Uh, every time we go in there, he moves. They're yeah, better than what we've been catching. Don't pull him too hard. Four pound. So even if we can catch one of them every chuck, that's better than what we've been doing. You see it now? Oh. Caught the most fish, just not big enough. Oh, numbers. You need a head for tails, babe. Oh, 
44.4. What was that? 44.4. All the fours. We're on J today at Rookery Waters and it's fished its head off basically. There's been 267 pound is winning at the moment. There's been a 208, a 201, uh, well, I've had 166 pound, and I'm probably not here, yeah, won't want to be with that. <laughs> won't do anything with that. But um, I've had a cracking day, I've caught fish pretty much every chuck all day, cast a shallow. Um, I don't know what much else I could have done different in hindsight. I may try to make the edges work sort of four power, and that didn't really want to what happened there's too many fish there to start off with and then i've left it alone and come back and still couldn't really catch them down that edge um i think i've caught maybe caught the most of what i could have done out of my peg today but uh, i'm not sure you can always catch a few more fish but uh, i don't know what else i would have done different but it's been a good uh practice for the festival next week i've sort of uh got back into the swing of things got the elastic right that sort of thing so it's been a day well spent thoroughly enjoyable day and i can't wait to get back here